Hello, welcome to uh, Chasing Greater Gems HI. Uh, ordered some EBTs. I was lucky enough to get them on Pokemon Center for MSRP. So I'm just gonna crack them open. Chase the Zard, I guess. Also enjoy shining, so. Shining cards. A lot of fun opening these guys up. Those can feel a little bad. Because there's so much other stuff I don't really use and uses for that I just end up tossing. But this is part of it. So, take that off, take that off. Of course, if you've never seen an EBT, which I highly doubt. Got sleeves. In this case, since it's a seasonal special set, there is actually a promo card in here, which I'm sure you've probably seen a million times. Let's check out the centering on that. Pretty fat from top to bottom. A little bit of a bend to it. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll have bow it that way. Part of it. Yeah. Chunk of sleeves. Chunk of dividers. Chunk of energy. If you play the TCG, you got dice, usually color coded to the release. Uh, condition tokens, burn, poison, little booklet. And then what we're really after. What we're really after. So, this is my first video. If it's a little awkward or clunky, just let me know what I can do to make it look better. Otherwise, just enjoy. I was debating on whether I should uh, use scissors or not to open these or just go all natural. I think I'm gonna try the all natural method. And I'll give away the code cards as we go. I don't do the pack trick. I never do it. You always end up showing the code card in the back. Kind of takes away from the suspense. Common Nicket, Common Horsey, Common Schnom. I think there's a, like a subgroup of people who really like Schnom. Hey, there we go. Reverse Hollow, Common Grookey. And the first is kind of a dud with our boss's orders, which is actually really useful in the TCG. Energy. Floatzel. The Wacky. Rotom. And then Code Card. Yeah, boss's orders has been the bane of my existence a couple times in the TCG when you think you have something set up. Nope. Your opponent likes to just pull the guy off the bench with accelerated energy to and knock him out. And that's kind of just how the game goes. Trap inch. Common. Nick it. Shinx. Coughing. No, my brother really loves coughing. He always tries to collect them all. I'm kind of a huge fan. Nick it reverse. I also don't really know what I think about the non hollow there. The reverse pattern on these. Whoops, again, the wacky code card. No, yeah, I think about the reverse hollow pattern for these guys. It's, to me, it's not the most appealing in the world, but I have seen worse. I think in the beginning of the sun of the Shlord and Shield era, there's some like Reverse hollows that are just unreadable. But I really do, I, I think my favorite one is like the sheeny oil pattern that you see on some uh, Japanese cards. I'll have to 
break open some Glossifer, Cacnea, Choodle, Dreadnought, huh. Evil, hollow rare, nothing to write home about. Energy team, yellow towel, rusted shield, code card. So I'll probably put the evil hollow rares in their own pile versus in their own pile. All these guys just go to the bulk pile. Now, I didn't get it on camera, but the first time I actually got my hands on some. Shining Fates, sorry about that. Uh, ETB is actually got my brother over and said, hey, let's fucking crack these things. And uh, sure enough, I pulled the Charizard, but I didn't get on the camera, so no picture, didn't happen. Coughing, it's also slightly off, a little more than slightly, but it's quite off center, which is unfortunate. Like so really something you want centered so you can send it to oh cgc first shining card you can kind of see some right there i don't know if the camera's picking up. yeah you can see right there it's like a dent i'm gonna all foil damage to it huh red now energy slopes rotom cook Baby right there. So, I have it there, I pull it to myself instead of keeping it on camera. I'm not really used to this setup doing this, so bear with me. I'm just kind of enjoy the ride. Horsey. And oh our first Amazing mirror. I actually really like amazing mirrors. I really do. I kind of feel like they're a little underrated, but I understand they've been printed and printed and printed. And there's uh hollow rare Celebi and a code card. Yeah, I understand they've been printed to oblivion pretty much, but I, I always like them. Study. I think it's interesting they made something new and it hasn't been printed again. So it's kind of a one off thing. Kind of, I don't know, made a very, very good set to collect with the, or fun set to collect. The prices aren't that great, but it's just fun to pull them. That's kind of what you get into this hobby for, right? Like, to enjoy collecting these pieces of cardboard. Ooh! Right on. Second. Shine. Oh, hey, Ditto V Max. Not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, I have sleeves, but I don't want to take the time on camera to sleeve them all up. So I'm going to set them there. And in the future, trust me, I'll sleeve them. And if there's anything worth it, I will probably send it to CGC. It kind of hurts right now, the price is through the roof it's like it was 1350 to the grade bulk bulk and then nine dollars for subgrades but i i like subgrades i really do that's what drew me to cgc and probably will keep me there if they bring the prices down more peco that reverse pattern and a rose full art trainer I've never been the biggest fan either of like the full art trainers. I know some people really like them. I collect them quite a bit. Upgraded some. Yeah, those are actually the ones that I probably end up selling. If you wanted to check out my eBay store, it's got the same name. I think the link is on my, I don't know if you call it title page or splash page or whatever my first page is. I want the link to my Instagram. I don't make videos or something, I might just I might just buy singles or show what I've sent to CGC. Which I might make an actual video of that now. More Peco. 
Hey, another shiny. You get a little more lucky with the, the shinies. But beggars cannot be choosers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was saying, like, I think I might actually make videos of some of my CGC selections and like, what I'm gonna send and why I'm gonna send it and maybe even like grades, I guess. This one, I know a lot of people right now with the price is high aren't sending, so it might be fun to go over it. I'm really hoping that they get to that backlog. I saw, I think it was yesterday, that they're, hey, it's the wacky reverse again. What do we got? Mount Hollow Rare. Fultzel Trotius. Ball Guy. I would really like the Ball Guy full art. That's like one of the few that I really would actually like. And let's see. And the last pack magic. And that's not saying I don't like playing any full art. It's just, for me, they're not nearly as entertaining or collectible as the, the Pokemon cards. I like the Pokemon cards that have a trainer on it. Um, they did that in the Sun and Moon era. I really, really like that. I, I've definitely collected a lot singles of a lot. I, I remember pulling them back in the day and really enjoying them. And then since then, I kind of make a point to buy the singles of the Japanese, um, the English. The Japanese kind of went up in value when I first bought, like, a ton of them. Oh, Mr. Ryan, let's go. That's not bad. Come on. Ah, hollow. Oh. You guys enjoyed. Appreciate it. Give me a like, thumbs up. Give me comments on how to do this better in the future. I think we, we see those polls. We'll review the shiny babies real quick. Mr. Rhyme. Pretty clean, a little bit of, maybe you call it, sorry, a little bit of whitening in the corner there, which is unfortunate. Corsola. Clean on the front. Once again, a little bit, a little bit of white, maybe in the corners. A hair, maybe over here. And that's one thing I've actually, before the pandemic, when all these people bought up tons and tons and tons of cards. I was into Japanese just because of the print quality, and uh, I still like really think. The Japanese has usually, by and large, a much better print quality. I'm really jealous about that. I, I catch myself buying their booster boxes, buying Japanese booster boxes. That one's clean. That one's clean. That might get sent, even though they don't have high pop and like a low value to them. Still quite enjoy it. I've yet to get the Shining. Ditto. This one, a little bit, a little bit. You can see that little dingish in the corner. I gotta say, we're, like, uh, grading with CGC makes you a lot more paranoid <laughs> about the quality of the cards you're gonna send in, which is good. It really, I call it exercise in pre-grading, even more so than PSA. I've never sent to Beckett, so I've heard they're pretty tough as well. So, but with PSA out of the game, I really only have one choice. Thank you.